Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The other day I was dining at Sebastian's Bistro and I was planning on coming over here afterwards, but we got hit with a huge thunderstorm so I couldn't make it. And today the weather looks beautiful. So I want to try to ride some rides that are offering a single rider line and also eat some food and just enjoy Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. Well, it was actually very nice out, but all of a sudden things changed. And it's kind of funny because we're standing here by the crossroads and you can take a look to this side of the park and it's nice blue skies and it's beautiful. But then on the other side of the crossroads, it is dark gloomy and it's probably gonna rain. So hopefully we avoid that side. And like I said, I wanted to take advantage of some of the single rider lines. And Hollywood Studios has the most single rider lines out of all the parks. You have Expedition Everest and Animal Kingdom, and then Test Track at Epcot. And there are no single rider options at Magic Kingdom, so there's two here, so that makes it the best. Uh-oh, the rain's coming down. Seek shelter, Starbucks! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Seriously, this all happened so fast. Oh boy, we're getting wet in here too. Wow. Look at those brave souls out there. We're gonna wait and see if the rain dies out. And since we're in Starbucks, we might as well get a coffee. And hopefully, like I said, it'll just pass right over and then we can do some rides. There it is. My nice vanilla sweet cream cold brew. And now all we gotta do is wait for the rain to stop. I can already see the skies over there are starting to clear up. So any minute now. It's crazy to think a storm can come and go in just the same time as it takes to order a coffee from Starbucks and enjoy it. That's Florida. <laughs> Always give it a minute or two though. Never just leave the park whenever it starts raining because there's a good chance that it's going to stop raining just as quick as it started. And then all the people that do leave usually make the wait times go right down. Just like that we are back in business. So I think we're gonna head down Sunset and maybe over to Rock and Roller Coaster. That's one of the attractions that actually has a single rider line. And hopefully they're doing it today because I know some of the attractions aren't doing it yet. Like Expedition Everest and Animal Kingdom, they did not reopen their single rider line. Test Track did and also Smuggler's Run did. I know that for a fact. So we're gonna find out now for Rock and Roller Coaster. Looks like the standby is at a 50 minute wait and we're gonna hop right in the single rider line. I'm gonna see how long it takes for us to get through the single rider line compared to the 50 minute wait that's on the standby side. They have signs that let you know that your party will be split. I don't mind though, because like I said, you wait 50 minutes compared to what we're gonna wait when we get up here. Okay, that was an absolute zero minute wait. <laughs> Holy moly, we're already in. <laughs> Oh, hey friends. <laughs> now it does look like the single rider line just reopened. So that's why it's probably a walk on, but usually it's under like a 20 minute wait. So it's definitely a lot better. Free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems, motion sickness, or other conditions that could be aggravated by this adventure. Expectant mothers shouldn't rock. Nice to see the pre shows are back open again, though. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? No. Oh, come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Is send them all with you? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait a minute. I love that idea. It also looks like they took out the plexiglass over here. Wow, how awesome is that? I know a lot of families that rather do the single rider line than actually ride together. I think I was the same way. Even when I'm with a group of friends and it's a long wait, we don't have a fast pass, always single rider line. Here it is. It's our super stretch limousine. If you're stuck in your car on your way to this concert, don't worry, we've got your car. Just keep it right here on LA's Classic Line Station.
Much too good. Much, much too good. Definitely gotta take the hat off for that ride. Got a magic trick for you. That was so much fun. I also get really excited when the song I want gets to play. So on there, you know, they, they play a different variety of Aerosmith songs, but they have a special song just for that ride, and it's Love in a Roller Coaster instead of Elevator, because you're riding Rock and Roller Coaster, and it got to play, so I got super excited. Also, it was pretty amazing that we didn't have to wait not even a minute for that ride There was nobody in the single rider line in front of us, but it did just reopen So we have to give it its fair chance usually expect uh, like 10 to 20 minute wait usually Oh, and also since the rain went away the characters will come back out. We got a little cavalcade happening Look at this we got Chip and Dale and Minnie and Pluto and Mickey making their way down <laughs> Hey friends Oh, they're running, it's a race. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. The dog's barking. <laughs> Look at, oh. <laughs> there he is. That was really awesome catching the cavalcade. I feel like our timing is really on point with those. Like every time a cavalcade comes by, I just happen to be walking past that area. So we always luck out. Now it's time we're gonna make our way down into Star Wars Galaxy Edge and we're gonna see if we can get in the single rider line for Smuggler's Run. Hopefully we can smuggle on to the single rider line. One thing I do have to say though, if you do plan on going to Smuggler's Run and using the single rider line, you're taking a huge sacrifice because the best way to ride is actually being the pilot. And if you do single rider, you'll never be the pilot. You'll always be the gunner or the engineer. But I've ridden it so many times, it's okay. And I actually like being in the back and actually coaching on families as they ride. It really gets me hyped up to be like that person. It's like, come on, hit the buttons. Like, you know, I wanna pump them all up. So it's always fun for me. Looks like the wait time is 45 minutes and the single rider line is open. But if it's your first time riding it, just wait a little bit longer and actually ride it in the standby and do pilot. It's definitely worth it. I think this is my first time actually ever riding this single rider. Usually I just wait in the standby line. It's never a long line usually. Like I've seen this where it was a complete walk on at the end of the night. See, even right now, 45 minutes, it's not too shabby. These corridors are kind of creepy though. <laughs> oh my lord, I did ride single rider on here before and I know a little tip here. I can't wait to show you this, this is really important. When you get to this point, they have two hangar bays and you come walking down this creepy corridor and if you actually look, a lot of people miss this hangar bay here. They usually just go straight ahead. So you'll see there's, there's gonna be a line here where people are waiting. But then if you go over on this side, look at this, how cool. Isn't that amazing? What a little trick I just taught you there. Nobody here. There we go, engineer, engineer. <laughs> I am so happy that I remembered that because like I, I was like I never read this before but then when I got up to that point I was like I have and isn't that so cool definitely it'll come in handy you will be intercepting a first order Go ahead and place all your stories. I think I'm gonna go to the left go ahead and grab those seatbelts all right time to log in Flight engineer prepared engineer Right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. Oh, I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly. Oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Amazing action! <laughs> <laughs> Flight engineers, fire the upward. Shoot the cargo free! Hit it, hit it! Alright, here we go, here we go! Pilot, line up 
we hit the train so we can harpoon that last car. Now let's shoot the train. There we go. We got it. We got it. Real as close up. Yeah, there it is. Woo! We did it! <laughs> Punch it, Chewie! Let's get out of here! That was absolutely awesome. We got two coaxiums, we got the asteroid field afterwards, and it was amazing, and we had great pilots. So, you know, sometimes you really luck out. I like to always give you guys a look at the wait times. We just got off Smuggler's Run, it was a 40 minute wait, and then it looks like Slinky Dog Dash and Toy Story Mania are 70 minutes long. Why so long? Tower of Terror is only 45 minutes? Wow, this is amazing. And Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is temporary closed. Womp, womp, womp. Now I think I'm gonna head down to Toy Story Land. I know it said 70 minutes for Slinky Dog Dash, but I would love to ride that ride. I feel like that ride should have a single rider line. I mean, Expedition Everest would have a single rider line, so why wouldn't Slinky Dog Dash or Rock and Roller Coaster? I mean, it, it makes sense, it's popular enough, 70 minutes. It looks like Slinky Dog Dash is running, but I'm a little nervous because if we hop in line and just wait there and it goes down, this is one of those rides where you won't get a fast pass. Like, you will just waste all that time. There's only about an hour and a half left in the park, so it's going to be a risky bet, but I would love to ride Slinky Dog at night. Look at all the lights turn on. It gets real pretty. I never get to ride Slinky Dog Dash at night because the park always closes at 8 o'clock, but because it's really gloomy out, it actually looks like it's getting darker out. Oh, there it goes. There it is. It still says 70 minutes. It doesn't look that long, though. Shouldn't be too bad. We are really racing the clock here. I feel like the rain's going to happen any second. So, fingers crossed, we're going to make it on this ride. We only got probably another 10 minutes or so to wait. So, hopefully. I'm getting so nervous. I mean, we waited a while for this. Oh my lord, guys. No way this is happening. One, can I do the back? Yeah? Awesome. Thank you. Oh boy, we might make it. I was a little worried. I thought I heard they were gonna suspend all the rides, but it looks like we might have made it. We're right here, we're on it. Boy, it's happening. It's happening, it's happening. <laughs> we made it! Oh my lord, I was so nervous. Bye bye! Look at this! We're gonna ride Slinky with the lights on during a storm! <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> Holy moly! What? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> oh boy, we're winding up now. Look at those clouds up there. Hang on to your hats, folks! <laughs> oh my lord, look at those clouds! Look at it out there! Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Look at this though, guys. It is like a storm of ruin. The trees are going crazy. It is 
literally gonna start pouring any second now. Holy moly. <laughs> Please stay seated till we come to a complete stop. Thank you. We really, really lucked out there. Now it's gonna start raining, but look at the queue. It says 70 minutes still, but all we had to do was wait in this little section right there. So I'm really shocked that it said 70. I didn't keep track of how long we waited because I was too worried about the storm, but I wouldn't think more than 20 minutes. I mean, I mean that was really amazing, but like I said, we gotta find some shelter now. Toy Story Midway Mania! Gotta run over there! <laughs> oh boy, the rain is coming. We're trying to get there. <laughs> Everyone's panicking. They're trying to get under the umbrellas. We're just trying to make it inside the Toy Story Midway Mania. We gotta dodge the strollers. Left, right, left, right. We got this. <laughs> We're in the home stretch. Holy moly, here it comes. Everybody's running. <laughs> Seek shelter. <laughs> We made it! Oh no! Here it comes! <laughs> so this is gonna be the second time today we've dodged the rain. But look at this. Holy moly! We really lucked out. We made cover underneath Toy Story Midway Mania. And now we're gonna go ride a ride. Look at it. It's surely coming down. We gotta be careful where we walk here. Alright, we're running through it like the time warp. <laughs> My shirt is soaked, so I can't wipe my glasses. I'm just gonna have to air dry them. <laughs> Cause you know, you can't go on this ride with wet glasses. You need to see, it's important to see, especially to see 3D. So we're gonna just, you know, blow off the water from the lenses. <laughs> I love it in here though. If you look in that far back corner there, you can see a little hidden, mini, uh, hidden Mickey in the clouds. See it there, very fancy. Oh, they made it. <laughs> It definitely seems a little weird to not have Potato Head talking. All he's doing is just standing there looking around and like not saying a thing. He's literally people watching. I've never seen him just not move. Look at him. Like he's moving, he's blinking, but he's not seeing anything. All right, now it's time to get serious. I'm gonna try to get a good score, so I'm not gonna film much of the ride. I'm not saying I'm good at this game, but I do know a couple tricks. You know what I mean. I tried to do that really cool, but it didn't work. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're not gonna waste our time on the practice round, so we're gonna actually give you guys a look-see. <laughs> okay, camera away. cheated I say oh no my perfect score probably got ruined ah oh, pooey 216 231 wow I did pretty good but I could have done better winner winner chicken dinner 216 now I noticed at the end of the game it wouldn't go up so like when you're in that bonus round and you're trying to hit the 500 and then it goes to 1,000 and then 2,000, it didn't move from 500. But I'll take 216, I'm happy. Potato head. Something interesting to point out, and I don't think I've ever noticed this, but if you hit this little button here, you can have captions at it. It says CC right there. How awesome is that? I've never noticed that until right now. I was hoping when we got off the ride that maybe the rain would have stopped, but it looks like we are in for getting wet. Well, I caved and I ended up buying the very expensive umbrella just because I just don't feel like getting soaking wet <laughs> that time I left Sebastian's. So I bought the umbrella, it was $17. With the annual pass, it does come down to 13. But I definitely wouldn't like to wear a poncho. I think those are very hot and I just, I don't feel comfortable in it. So there we go, I'll keep this for a while. Sorry guys, scoozy scoozy. We're gonna make it in. Here we go. Ba -ba -da -da. Ha! Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. <laughs> Honestly, this I don't mind so bad. 
except for my feet are gonna be soaking wet. But it's okay, I'll take it. Oh yeah. This is a little bit much. I'm so happy I bought the umbrella. <laughs> Technically, I still have time. I could probably hop on another ride, but I think we should just probably head out, you know? I mean, it's raining pretty bad. At least I'm not heading out like soaking wet. I mean, this is a really, really bad rainstorm. And I thought it was gonna be the end of the day, like end of the rain while we were at Starbucks, but I guess you never know in Florida, you know? So we'll make our way back out to where we started, looking right at the crossroads of the world. And I guess that's gonna do it for us. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It's funny how the rainstorms kind of plagued Hollywood Studios for me now two times in a row, but today I feel like we made the best of it. I bought myself a new umbrella. I will actually keep on to this one for a while. Normally, I end up losing my umbrellas or I give them away to people uh, whenever I actually come to the parks. So that's why I never have an umbrella with me. But this one I'll hang on to a little bit, keep it in the car and uh, bring it you know, just in case of a rainy day. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!